Hello there guys and welcome back to our Dodge Demon tutorial. It's been quite some time. Before I get into the tutorial, what I just want to do is ask any subscribers if they're still interested in following any new car modeling series that all of the stuff will now be over on the Drift 3D YouTube channel. Um, all of the projects that I've completed on there or will be completing on there will have all of the different resources that are required for it all the different episodes and such on there as well. So head over to Drift3D on YouTube or obviously Drift3D.com is where I keep all of this stuff for it. So if you are interested in my longer correlated videos, make sure you subscribe to that channel because that's where all of these series will be from now on. Um, 8.52, I'm redoing some of the stuff on here just to make all the tutorials and stuff a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller um, projects and such. Um, I've done an Audi R8 on Drift 3D. I'm going to be working on a Ducati uh, motorbike soon. I'm working on a Ford GT, working on interiors and engine, all that good stuff. So I've got plenty to come on there. But let's make a start. Well, let's continue with the Dodge Demon. It's been a little while. I think I've got to do a little bit of cleaning first. I did watch the end of the previous episode that I recorded quite some time ago to find that we do need to do some small adjustments at the front here. And then we also just by what I've been having a look at um, is this airframe here is super large, much larger than it should be. Um, the mesh for the most part is not looking too bad. It um, has been a while since I've seen this model, uh, but I think for the most part we're looking okay. We are very close to dividing panels and smoothing, so maybe we'll get into that at some point today. But first, I think I'm wanting to adjust the kind of sizing what we have going on here. So I'm going to select both the mesh there and my uh, window and all the kind of surrounds that are associated with that. I'm going to take that here and we should be able to see at least on the view here that all of this actually wants to sit much further over. So I'm going to grab those and take those over there. So I want to sit much further over. Let's just double check our front which is looking much better as well. Um, I'm going to take it back a touch in my side view also. Bring that back there. Okay, let's go and take. Um, I do have an extra section for my windscreen here. Um, I'm going to just hold down control and hit delete on that. I don't think we actually need it, um, especially not right now. Let's just continue. We'll grab down here. Let's pull this over here and then we'll take this over as well, something like that. Okay, and then I think everything else there is looking okay. Okay, so that's looking a lot thinner, um, a lot more like the real car. I think everything else there is looking okay. So let's maybe have a think about how we're going to fix this. Um, my first kind of thought is to, let's just isolate the selection here. So my first thought here is to go in, I'm going to maybe take my multi cut. I'm just going to drop that. Maybe actually I'll drop that over there. So I'm just going to drop a random vertices in the middle there. Let's go for an insert edge loop. I'm going to drop one roughly in the center. I think it is about halfway from this. Um, let's maybe actually, I'm going to delete that extra. Let's maybe just target weld this down here. We'll kind of see how, how that's going to sit. And then I'm thinking what we're going to want to do with this is we realistically just want all of this to kind of move up in that direction. Let's just double check everything across there. So let's maybe delete these those faces. I'm going to take these edges here, I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to pull this along here. I'm going to take this up. And I want it to roughly match that location. So we're going to maintain that same kind of curvature in there. So we'll bring that up here, like so. Once we're happy with that position, uh, let's go and grab our our camera's not going to go too crazy. I'm going to go and target weld up there. I'm going to jump in here and grab my 
edge slide. I'm just going to push that a bit further away. Because we're going to mimic the same here. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to hit Control E. And I'm going to pull that in. Maybe push it down a little bit as well. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is I'll maybe grab this one here. I'm going to push it over in that direction if it will sit. There we go. And then maybe target weld this one down to it. So I've got that exact shape going on there. Like so. Okay, so we've got that shape going on, but we're a little bit further up. So let's maybe then take, so I'm going to grab the first initial vertices. I'm going to hold down, let's maybe select and isolate both of these. Okay. Um, I'm going to maybe just get rid of these lower faces here. And then I'm going to grab my vertices. I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to hit hold V. I'm going to snap. Let me just get rid of my edge slide there. I'm going to hold V and I'm going to snap up here. I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to hold V to snap again. And I'm just going to pull that down and away a little bit. Just going to do the exact same. Holding V. And then holding V. And then we're going to pull that away. I just want that to match nicely inside there. I'm going to do the exact same again. I'll hold down V and we'll bring that up here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna drag to find that again, holding V. And I'm gonna do the exact same. I'm just gonna pull that away ever so slightly inside there. Okay, so we've got that exact same kind of shape, but we just pushed it half a face in. If we hit three now to test we can see that that's not affecting anything inside there in terms of our mesh which looks like it should work out quite nicely for us so let's maybe think about starting to extract some panels we can see inside here that we're looking quite nice in terms of all the main information so let's maybe think about extracting some panels um let's go and these blueprints are atrocious i forgot how bad these are um so we've got all of our all of our vertices here. I'm gonna just pull these up a little bit. So we've got we'll maybe start at the side because I think the side skirts around here and everything should be a little bit easier. Um, we do have this bit down here which maybe needs a little bit of a tidy so let's maybe just reset this so I'm going to target weld all of these kind of back together apologies if I did this on the previous episode and I kind of just wasted some time but I think what we'll do is we'll bring those back and target weld all those back here maybe just delete that extra face that I've got inside there okay so we'll do that and then I assume we've got the same on the back. This is going to look really weird when it's actually smoothed off. So let's go again. Do the exact same over here. Just merge all those back in. Check underneath, which is fine. And then let's delete that extra face just there. I am checking my um, references, and I think that should work perfectly fine for them, which is okay. So. And let's go inside here. We do have like a little extra lip. I believe that little extra lip looks like I might have accidentally merged multiple stuff together. So let me just dial that back. I did have an extra vertices up there selected. So I'll quickly just run and target weld these again. It's one of the annoying kind of functions of Maya is um, you kind of, when you go to your target weld, it for some reason remembers your previous vertices and tries to weld that too, which is a bit frustrating. So let's just go quickly and redo this. So yeah, I'm looking on the um, the reference images that I've got and it doesn't appear to have like an extra little bit there. So we'll get rid of that completely. 
and then let's get rid of this extra face down the side here. So, as I was saying, I think the side skirt here sits just underneath. So I think we want to grab all of these here. Take all of those. I'm just going to push them down a little bit. And then I'm going to grab an insert edge loop and I'm going to drop one just above. I'm maybe going to do that in my view here. So we'll drop that down there. All the way along. And then I'm simply going to go double click select all of those and just hit delete. So we've got a nice panel gap that runs down there now which looks like it's going to be quite nice. Okay, uh, I think we want a bit more curve down here. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to pull them out maybe a little bit down as well. Do something like that. So that when we do hit smooth on that we'll have a bit more curvature to that eventually. So that's going to look good. Let's maybe do the door that should be another fairly easy one. So we're already aligned to the left here. Let's maybe pull this in just a little bit more. Now because these blueprints are so bad, um, the door isn't, the actual door gap isn't going to be that big. So we don't need to worry about that. Let's maybe move to one side with this as well. Let's pull these over in this direction here. So I want to work to one side of the line and then what we'll do is we'll flip over to the other side. So once we're happy with how that's kind of shaped up, I'm just checking my references and I think we want a bit more of a curve just in there. So once we're happy with that, I'm going to grab my insert edge loop and we're going to go and we'll drop an edge inside there. And select those faces and we'll hit delete. And it does have a fairly prominent line, but I don't think it's quite that thick. So let's go again a little bit closer this time. Okay. Um, what we'll want to do is we'll want to try and maintain the same kind of distance. So I'm going to go edge slide here. Maybe just pull these open a little bit more. Okay. And we'll hit delete. Okay, so that's looking a lot nicer. This one's going to be awkward because of this kind of spider's web that we've got going on. So let's go and draw these ones in first. So I'm going to go and grab my multi cut tool. And I'm going to just go straight through here. Like so. Hit enter. I'm going to go in super nice and close and I'm going to merge those two together. So I'm just going to go edit mesh merge and then I'm going to do the same up here but this time I think we'll probably target weld up. Okay. I'm going to insert an edge loop and then oops, I can select my multi cut. And we'll join those together. And then let's go and insert an edge loop again. Nice and close. Try and match what we have up here. And then join those together there. Okay. And then again, we're going to grab all the faces that kind of correlate to that. And we're going to hit delete on those two. So we have a nice panel gap there. It does look a little bit on the small side. So I'm just going to take these in just a little bit. I do have my transform constraint on the left hand side here. I'm just making it ever so slightly larger. Okay. 
Okay, so that's looking okay. And then again, once we hit three, we can see how they're smoothing out nicely. This part of that, which is good. So we're happy with those. Um, we do have the front bumper, which is a little bit of an awkward one because obviously that goes up and around the corner here. So let's try and map where that is so we can see that that's going just here. What's well, going to be easiest if we do stay one side of this? Um, so let's maybe pull some of these forward. I've still got my edge transform on there. Maybe it'll be easier to use our top view up here. Just going to grab our top view. Let's isolate those selections. Let's use a combination of views here just to make sure we're selecting the correct one. Okay. Grab this one too. Okay, then we're going to go in front for all of these ones, which they mostly are. Let's grab these ones here. I'm going to take my edge off there and pull those down. And then let's bring it back on here and we'll bring that down here as well. Okay, so we've got something like that. So let's maybe think about adding an insert edge loop. Again, I don't think this is going to work too well because of the distance. So let's maybe just drop that in just there. Although we are going to flow up here. So maybe maybe what we'll do is we'll add this side first. And then we can grab our multi-cut and we'll run around here. Um, I might as well just draw the rest of this in. Okay. Maybe not skip that one. Let's just follow this all the way around. to merge those together and then save up here we're going to want to merge those as well okay so I'm fairly happy with all that distance for the most part not so much when we get further down here so let's maybe let's bring that in there a little bit push those down a touch okay let's give that a go then I'm going to select all of those and hit delete. Okay, so that's looking quite nice as we go around there. Which is good. Um, I was just thinking for the hood. Yeah, so it looks like we go... Just um, checking my references here. So it looks like we just want to go straight up here. Okay, so the only awkward bit is going to be here, but it's not going to be awkward at all. So let's maybe just grab our insert edge loop. Again, we want to go to one side, so we're going to want to go... Let me just get rid of my edge. I'm going to want to go to the right here. Let's go insert edge loop. Drop this in here. I'm just going to try and get a gap that's roughly the same as that one. And then we can run up and we can see that that's looking okay. I think that's looking okay the whole way, which is good. 
Now I'm not liking this bit. Okay, just want to make sure we're nice and straight here without selecting anything behind. Once we're happy, let's go and select all of those and we'll hit delete. Okay, so we've got a nice hood line running up there as well, which is good. The window here isn't actually attached, so we can drop that down there. Get rid of all those two. So a little air pillar there, which looks quite nice. Um, we're obviously going to have our trunk lid, and then we've got the rear bumper as well. I'm just trying to get a decent reference image to kind of plot that for me here. Okay, so let's go jump to the back here. And we're going to want to do the exact same. So let's go grab these, move these ones down. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that over in this direction a little bit. Let's take these ones too. And again, we want to go to one side of the line here. Yeah, so that's been that's quite far off for the most part, but I think that's okay. I'm just gonna just make sure that this is looking nice and flowing a bit better. So we're going to drop a line in just like that and then let's go for an insert edge loop and let's just drop that in as just as far as it will go something like that actually maybe we'll be, be best just drawing this whole thing in just because of the way the geometry is kind of flowing here so let's go Something like that, I think maybe a little bit closer. If I can draw that in. Okay. We're gonna go to this line that we drew in here. all the way up okay so I'm pretty sure that the only flows up to where the trunk lid starts so let's maybe just hit enter there And before we move on, let's go and delete this line. I'm going to hold control and hit delete on that. We're going to get in nice and close and we're going to target weld that one over there. Okay. Now we're going to want to draw the hood line in, the, the trunk line in first. So again, let's go and just make sure I'm going to put my edge slide on for this. Just make sure we're at one side of this line. And let's drop an edge loop in there. Okay. 
Maybe a little bit closer. Select all of those. Hit delete. And then we should be able to just keep drawing up, but I kind of want to move these along here to match. Okay, some of the geometry here isn't flowing as nicely as I would like it. Um, so maybe in between episodes, I'll maybe do a little bit of a fix to some of that. But let's go and drop these up here. Okay, so I think that's looking okay. Let's go and grab all of those. I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm just going to go and take these here and just add a little bit more curve to them. So that's that rear portion there. I think the last thing we have to do in terms of separating everything out is thinking about the the kind of little rear diffuser that we have going on at the back here. So again, let's grab all of this. I'm going to make sure that we're underneath it. I think we're okay for the most part there. We should be able to just do this in one. So I'm going to insert an edge loop all the way along there. I can delete that too. Okay, so I've got all of the panels there, I think, for the most part separated. If there are any more, uh, we can check them out a little bit later. Let's. Um, I'm maybe just going to delete all of these extra stuff. Okay. Let's get rid of all this. And the reason for that is because in the next episode, what we are going to be doing is we'll probably start the smoothing process for this. I'm going to grab this, I'm going to hit mesh, and we'll hit separate just so that we've got all of these in individual pieces. And then let's go and grab our front bumper here. And I'm gonna say edit and duplicate special. And we'll maybe do the same. Okay, so just a quick tip is if it ever flips weird like that, easiest thing to do is to grab two elements, mesh combine, mesh separate. And then we can hit duplicate special, do the same down there. My duplicate special is as an instance, a negative one on the X there, um, on the scale, and that means it's just going to flip that across there for us. And what we'll do in the next episode is we'll work through this, we'll start to think about smoothing these out. It shouldn't be too tricky for this car, but we'll think about smoothing those out um, and hopefully get panel by panel finished um, fairly soon. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.